Hi guys, uh, show of hands for the mic, and if I could ask for your name and organisation for your question, please. Thank you. Who's first up? Uh, hi Pep, uh, Jamie Jackson from The Guardian. Um, would it be fair to say that a lot of other teams looking at that performance of yours might be frightened of playing against you when you play that well? Well, we will play the, if they look the first 20 minutes, yeah. But it's not the same score 3 0 90 minutes than the score 3 0 75 minutes. A lot of games to play, and I would say that we were lucky to score the fourth goal in the last minute of the first half. Because I had the feeling the game was not over with 3 1. Because we play with ball so good, but without the ball, we couldn't sit a lot. We were not stable behind when we defend deep. They, they make a crosses. We can see a lot of corners, free kicks, and with the best taker in the league, like uh, Southampton had, has is a, is a, it's a, always dangerous. But of course, I'm so satisfied for the result, for the performance. But uh, the teams show me today, send me some signals that are still. In some positions, in some actions, we are not stable enough. Uh, and but it's good. Improving after winning is much much easier than improving after losing. Uh, Pep, um, David McDonnell, Daily Mirror. Um, Raheem had an outstanding game. Scored twice, I think three assists. Where, where would you rate him in terms of the world's best players on current form? I mean, he must be up there surely. In terms of his the world best player. Yeah, he's a top player. But still, he's so young to consider it is the world best players. No, no, but I mean, where would you would you rate him? One of Europe's best. He's players? in incredible form right now. He's sharp. He's fast. He's uh, clever. He's uh, fighting. He's uh, he's ambitious. He's decisive. 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 Uh, uh, can play in the both sides, right to left, and play in the middle and receive the ball behind the lines. I always commit the central defender with a, a lot of aggressivity. So, so it's an incredible performance, with and without the ball, incredible performance. But still, with the young players like him, like Leroy, like these kind of guys, I would like to feel that still they can improve. Uh, still he lose simple balls in Tottenham again, in Tottenham game, he lose, in, he scored an amazing assist he made in as he's in the first minutes, but since after that he'll lose a lot of balls. And these kind of guys to be an stable team, they have to, you know, to improve with that. But of course his quality in a one against one, in the, his pace is incredible. So he today make an incredible game. Hi Pep, James Robson, Standard. Um, Aguero was fantastic today. Did we see today what you were always saying when you first came here, what you wanted him to be gone? Because we saw, for instance, Sterling's first goal, him winning the ball back in the box. Yeah. That would be second goal. And is that also uh, a lesson to someone like Sterling, if someone of Aguero's age can improve, that Sterling at the age of 23? You know, yeah, of course, so of more. course. So I, I, I know that uh, I spoke many times with Sergio, with all the players, so I'm not, I'm not asking your aggressivity in Sergio, for example, has Gabriel or, or Kyle Walker, for example. He has not this talent, but I want to see the best to trying, to trying to do that. So the four goal, he did it. The ball, everybody missed, he won, he fouled, he take it as his and score. And thanks to that, we, the second half was easier, you know, because the 3-1, the game was absolutely open. Because they, I had the feeling they, when they had the ball, they create, they created the problems. They were easy in the, in the, in the corners, in the sides, and the crosses always are dangerous. We had a lot of problems to control long in the long balls. We didn't win a few, few times, but normally we win a lot of balls. And, um, and that's why. And Sergio, when, when tried, it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, the way he tried and do it and be aggressive with without the ball. So we scored a lot of goals. I, I had the feeling that uh, Southampton could cut the score more goals. I had that feeling. What well, normally doesn't happen, but in the same times we could have scored also more goals. If we could score eight or nine goals, we'd have no been never, but they could have scored two or three. Simon. Simon Stone, BBC. Just in terms of Raheem, do you get the sense that he wants to learn? He 
he wants to improve, you're fairly relentless in your demands of the players. Do you no think doubt. he's receptive to that? No doubt, no doubt about that. But not just Raheem, everybody. I said many times, it's a joy to be manager of them because they follow us. When we have an idea, we try to train it, try to argument why we play in that way and not in the other way. It depends on the opponents, they follow us and that is a joy. It's an absolute happiness for the manager, all the staff that we have alongside them. So it's a, it's a pleasure and, and they try it. He, and, and, and Rahim, he tried. He tried. We didn't say, you have to do that. No, you have to do that for that and for that reason or the other one. And Mikel always insists a lot on many things and, and Rodo and everybody. Everybody's there to help the guys to, to be better. That, that's the reason why we are here, to help them to be better players. If at the end of our period here we feel they are better players and we arrive, well paid. It's enough. Hi, Pep. Sam from Goal. Um, you mentioned um, you got some signals that the team aren't stable enough yet. You mentioned dealing with long balls and maybe some short passes from Raheem. But in what in what specific ways is the team not yet stable enough? When we, when they were close our box, that the feeling they they can score goals. When this had that feeling, that's not good. No, in general, in, the, in duels and not defend well the the passes between the lines and ma many situations. So we defend good things, but in the same times, I think we can improve, and that's good. So I like to, to have that feeling. I won 6 1, we are top in the table, we are satisfied again for the performance, how they fought until the last minute. But in the same times, I have that feeling that we have to improve in many, many situations to be a more stable team. Because when we arrive in next stakes, especially hopefully in the Champions League, when you consider that situations, you are out. Because the, the level is is higher. Oh. Thank you. Hola, Mark Feb. Um, you you have scored nine goals in in the Premier League just b before the twentieth minute. Uh, do you feel like any special pipe in the dressing room or something like that just on the beginning of the games to see the team so connected into the game? No, no, no. We spoke. Uh, we prepared the game from one way. We expect. Maybe they play with three central defenders, five in the back. At the end, they play four in the back. We adjust something just after, before the warm-up. And uh, we spoke to start in good pace, start, uh, you know, no flat, uh, you know, to without the ball especially. And the ball, we were ever attacked the box, attack the box with uh, five guys. And, uh, you know, we, they did it. So the, the first... Yeah, until three three zero was so good the way we attack and the way we clever we were in the in the in the final spaces. But I I admire I, I wanna so I, I it's not easy you know after ninety minutes three zero and so Santo didn't give up so that's why chapeau heads off. So I admire Mark and and his players because now maybe in a situation they you know they forget to continue and they score a goal and they create chances more than any other contender we had in that season. So it was the team we create more chances against us in this season. That's why I have that feeling. But that's why they didn't give up. That's why we were lucky in the score the, the last minutes in the first half. And of course for one, the second half we had more control and in the last 10-15 minutes we get out of chances because in that time, yes, the game is over. With 4-1 or 5-1, last 10 minutes the game is over. But before that, the game Southampton was there. It is not easy to keep going that. That's why big compliment for them. Hi, Pep. Paul Hurst from The Times. With Raheem, he struggled in his first season uh, with you in terms of scoring goals. I think he only scored 10, but then he scored a lot more in, his, in 23 last year and then six so far this season. Why, why do you think he's improved when it comes to his finishing? His head. In the first season, right the ball, arrived to the, in front of the box, and the box, it was scary. He was looking... Uh, who is the guy I'm going to pass the ball? That was our feeling. So right there, and, and it was not looking, the keeper is there. It was where the, he's made. We spoke about that, he training, and now said, try to score goal. It doesn't matter if you miss it. Be aggressive. And now you have the feeling at the ball, where is the goal, and go over there. So the second goal, or the third, the second goal. We arrived until the keeper, and had to shoot or pass. I'm oh, sorry, or pass. So I think he... Maybe I'm wrong, I didn't speak about that, but 
I, I had the feeling that he enjoy. Now he's enjoying to scoring goals, and make assists, and be and be important in, in in winning games. Now he's becoming a winning player, and, and of course it's so so important. And we cannot forget, 23 years old. So he's a stable, and and he's still focusing, and and he has to do to become better player, better player, better player. If he has his mind to become better player, better player, and he think it's not enough what what I am like a football player, he can reach whatever he wants. Great guys. Okay, thank you.